Today we'll take a look at Ken DeRussi. He's an instructor in Santa Barbara and he's regarded as one of the best hang gliding pilots in the country. I saw people flying off a hill in Thousand Oaks and, and uh, at the time that I, I first saw it I'd never heard of it before. To see somebody sailing off the top of a hill with a, with a lightweight wing just was too appealing for me to turn down. The sensation of flying is really nice, but just to, just the thought of being able to fly through the air, I think, is something that appeals to a real basic instinct. It's great. You're up there by yourself. You can look around and you can observe the world and, uh, and you feel very much apart from uh, all of the things that could otherwise affect you if you're on the ground. If the wind is right, you can find the joy, the innocence again. Nice. And a special thanks to our very own Jeff Aiello and all the production work behind that. Looks good. Looks beautiful. Okay. Did you try it? No, I didn't get a chance to try it. Mike McCartney did, but I didn't. Mm. Also, the Angels signed Bill Buckner today. I thought I'd throw that in there. Yeah, Mike did live. We saw him live. So traveling in Southern style when we come back. Stay with us. I don't know about that being a friendly game, but uh, you do get a chance to meet a lot of people. Anyway, we continue our three-part series on hang gliding today. The second part focuses on the basic fundamentals of the sport and learning how to get yourself ready for takeoff. Now, in recent years, hang gliding has attracted a diverse group of individuals, doctors, lawyers, nurses, weathermen, as in Mike McCartney, you name it, and they're all finding that this sport is fascinating. Hang gliding can be exhilarating if done properly. A beginner in the sport has to learn the basic fundamentals of how to control the hang glider. That's why Ken DeRussi has his students learn on this training hill in Santa Barbara. The first step is putting the glider together and making sure that everything is connected. The loose ends have to be tied, the stabilizing bar has to be locked in, and above all, the pilot has to be strapped in for complete safety. Once those steps are completed, it's time to learn how to fly. time to think about is um, what you're actually doing, keeping control of the glider so you don't crash. 
So you really, you don't have a chant and you don't really have time to think of anything else except emotions, what you're doing. I'm one of the world's slowest learners out here, but I'm sure having a good time. It's neat. Got it. Hang gliding seems to attract a certain kind of person. They all have to be romantics. Because if you don't have, if you're not a romantic, you have no imagination, you couldn't possibly do something like hang gliding because the basic message that the world gives you about hang gliding is you can't do that. Ken has some students who are a little more advanced than others, but some of his beginners have all the confidence in the world. There's a big mountain up here in Santa Barbara that I'm going to go off someday, I hope. I mean, you know, that's what I'm working toward. Reach for the sky. They have to have a, a fairly vivid imagination to believe that they can do something as ridiculous as fly through the air. Um, if you think in terms of bringing one hand towards your sternum, it'll tend to bring the bar in. Mm -hmm. Mike McCartney on a hang glider? I don't know about that, folks. But like all beginners, Mike had to learn how to run before he could fly. Ken DeRussi was determined to get Mike off the ground safely. Why am I doing this? Could it be that our weatherman wants to get up in the sky to create his own frontal system? If that's the case, the first thing he has to do is sign the release papers. Mike, don't do it. Do beginners. Moments later, he was informed that the hang glider manufacturers did not include an automatic pilot device. He was also informed that instructors don't always make the right decisions. You have to think about what you're doing and, and, and question. If I say go right, go right, go right, and you, and you look to the right and you see there's some obstacle to the right, don't go to the right. So you always have the option of disobeying the instructions. Time now to see how well Mike can do on the training hill. Mike's only been at it for a couple of days now, but like a true weatherman, he's catching a breeze just right. Right, hard right, hard right, out, 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 Mike? Mike? Uh, Mike, you all right? Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. I, I meant to do that. I was testing out the helmet and the, and the gear and stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay, fine. What'd I tell you? All weathermen are thrill seekers. Come on, let's do this again. Let's go. I believe it's time for me to fly. Time for me to fly.